Welcome to Inside Scoop. I'm Kristen Balboni here with Panthers legend Jake DeLome. And uh, Jake, we started this series to talk about some of the most memorable moments in Panthers history. So I got in touch with you and asked you to do this with me. And I, look, I could have asked you about X-Clown. We said, well, that's, that's been done. People have talked about that, you know, probably the greatest play in Panthers history. Could have talked to you about your, your touchdown to Moussa Muhammad in the Super Bowl that I think still holds the record for longest touchdown in a Super Bowl ever. But instead, I got in touch with you and I said, can we talk about the time you ripped your pants on national TV? And because you are a good sport, you said yes. Absolutely. I, uh, you know, I remember those plays. I remember X Clown. I remember the pass to Musin Muhammad and, and many other plays where we had success um, during our time, my time in Carolina. But the ripped pants is something that I don't think there's any doubt. I will always remember. Uh, it was a true, I always wanted to go down in history in my mind growing up, but I didn't know it'd be probably for football follies with my behind hanging out. But, uh, but that's all right. It's okay. We, we won the game. That was the big thing. But it made for a, a pretty interesting first drive of a game. Yeah. And, and look, you are, you're going to go down in history for other things. But I do appreciate, like I said, you being such a, a good sport about this. Because, you know, it's not just best plays in Panthers history. Although you're right up there, too. It's most memorable. And unfortunately for you, you're not the only person who remembers this, right? <laughs> Panthers fans. I, no, I, I, I remember it, and it was uh, the last week of the season, and we're playing in Atlanta. First drive of the game, there's not many fans in Atlanta. Uh, it's inside of a dome. The air condition blows pretty good early on in the game, especially when there wasn't a ton of fans. So we get the ball. We march down the field a little bit, and I get sacked. And when I get sacked, I'm on the ground, and I'm telling you, I feel like a burn on my behind and, like, cold air. And I remember like reaching because I have an athletic supporter or, or maybe as more commonly known as a jock strap on. And I'm feeling and I'm like, my butt's hanging out to myself. And I'm, I start reaching back again. I'm like, man, my butt's hanging out. And Jeff Mitchell and, and is burning. And Jeff Mitchell's looked at me. He was our center. And Mitchell said, uh, hey, Dalome, your bleep's hanging out. And I did what? He said, your bleep's hanging out. And I said, you got to be kidding me. So I looked at the ref and I pointed and he goes, what? I said, and I told him, I said, my butt. And he starts giggling and he's <laughs> laughing. And, I, and I'm looking at him and I'm like, and he said, I can't call a timeout for a, a uniform malfunction. So I call a timeout. So I'm walking to the sideline and Fox pulls his headset off and he's looking at me. What are you doing? It's the first drive of a game. And I said, my blank's hanging out do what? I said, my blank is hanging out. And he looked again and I turned and I pointed and he just starts dying laughing. And there's Jackie Miles and Donnie Toner right away. They run up and there's a Gatorade towel because all the Gatorade towels on the sideline and they take a towel and they kind of wrap it like giving me a groin wrap, so to speak, and covering up my behind and just take white tape and they're dying laughing. All of them are doing it. I mean, just laughing away. And because it's pretty comical. So I go back into the huddle. And so I get all ribbed. So I tell everybody to shut up. I got to call a play. We got to go forward. We go right down the field. We score. I throw a touchdown pass to Ricky Prohl on the drive. We come back on the sidelines. And I need to change my pants. I can't play the rest of the game that way. And so sure enough, um, the equipment managers have back up everything. And instead of running into the locker room to go change in case we get a quick turnaround, I changed right there on the sidelines. They just got about four guys. They hold towels. I pull my pants off. So they hurry up, put my, my pads in, in my pants, and I put them back on. And they had some ladies on the front row with, like, dollar bills just oh. kind of laughing and teasing the whole time. So it was pretty darn funny. And uh, there wasn't many tense moments in that game. We beat them pretty good that game. Um, we were starting to roll pretty good at that point of the season. Uh, and they didn't, they didn't have anything to play for. So uh, – it made for a pretty, uh, pretty interesting uh, rest of the game. A lot of laughs on the plane. And I had a breast burn on one of my cheeks for the longest time because the nub of his cleat ripped, as you can see on this. It, it catches and it just it rips and it rips my pants. And to prove that this wasn't a joke, I still have these pants. <laughs> So, I got nervous and, there for a second when you said to prove it. <laughs> yeah, so I still have these pants, and 
Um, that was the rip. And I'm going to be very honest with you. There is a stain mark, and that is the blood from the cut. So that is not a joke. I do have the rip pants. And uh, I've always kept them. I knew I was going to need them at some point, or it would be a good talking point. And so there you have it. Uh, however many years later, 15 years later, uh, or 14 and a half years later, there you have it. That is phenomenal. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe you still have those pants. How much stuff do you keep? Like, do you have I don't, other significant? <laughs> no, I have, I have the majority of my game jerseys. I always kept my game jerseys. And we had, what, uh, um, only like two or three a year. So I, I kept the majority of my game jerseys. Uh, but other than that, I don't have cleats um, or things like that because I would kind of go through uh, shoes during the course of the season, um, game balls, Game balls that the team gives you, I, I kept all of those, and, and those are displayed somewhere. Um, but other than that, no, I uh, I was never really kind of big on keeping certain things uh, like that. But for whatever reason, I kept those pants, uh, and they kind of traveled with us from our time in Carolina. It made, <laughs> made the way to Cleveland, and it came back to Louisiana. So, Well, like I said, you are, you are such a good sport to have so much fun uh, with us on this we could have picked, you know, all the great moments in your career, but we focused on this one. So thank you for, for doing this and, and having so much fun with it and for showing us the pants. Absolutely. It's, uh, there's a reason I have them, like I said. So they'll stay with me and uh, you never know. I might take them to the grave with me. Who knows? Unless they get, you know, they could get enshrined somewhere. We'll see. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to get enshrined. They're not, they're not intact. They're still, uh, they're still ripped. And these are really good quality pants, but uh, a big, 300 pound defensive lineman and a little screw in cleat with the nub uh, doesn't feel too good. So it burned, it burned for a good bit whenever I had to take showers for a while after that. All right. Well, I guess we'll just leave it right there. Uh, Jake, thank you so much. Yeah, sure. No problem. My pleasure.